signal flow graph is the next topic in control system. Uh, the name itself is very clear. It is a graph, graphical representation of a system and uh, there will be a signal flow. There will be a signal flow from input to output. So, that is why it is called a signal flow graph. So, it is a graphical representation of uh, linear uh, equations and any system as we have discussed in the previous section when a system is described by a block diagram and finding out the transfer function of a given block diagram or system is very complex. There are 9 to 10 rules we have already listed and you must use the rules and uh, find out the transfer function and for each step for each step you need to draw the uh, reduced block diagram and finally get a single block to find out overall transfer function. Laborious, time consuming, complex, possibility of committing mistakes. Signal flow graph is not like that. It is a graphical representation of a system. It consists of only nodes and branches. For example, if you consider a block G, say this is R, this is C output. As we have discussed in the block diagram, block represents functional description of that component. So, C is equal to G times R. This is the output you get. C is equal to G times R. Now, in the case of signal flow graph, you will not find any blocks, any summing points. It has only arrows. So, this same one you can represent as R c with arrow g is the gain of that particular path. So, output here also c is equal to g times r, but the advantage of this signal flow graph is there are no rules to find out the overall transfer function of the system, but there is a formula, there is a formula invented by S j Mason, S j Mason and it is known as Mason's gain formula invented by him. So, you need to get some parameters which we are going to define now, substitute in the Mason's gain formula to get the overall transfer function. Remember that overall transfer function we may take for the analysis of stability or response etcetera. So, let us see what is signal flow graph and when a block diagram is given, how to transform that given block diagram into signal flow graph, then how to apply Mason's gain formula to determine the overall gain or overall transfer function.